Welcome to the Horror Hotel. Today we're gonna talk about the movie Sweatshop, and I know this is glaring a lot in your eyes right now, but uh, so let's get right into it. Back in 2009, someone, namely Stacy Davidson and Ted Gregan, had an idea for a movie after watching the Winter Olympics and saw Yuri Chechi performing his gymnastics number masked and with an oversized hammer during the opening ceremony. And thus, Sweatshop was born. And I can say that without a doubt that this movie is one of my favorite slashers of all time. There are a lot of slashers out there competing with one and another in order to be the most brutal and most disgusting movie to date, but none of those really disturbing movies do it with the creativity and genuinely good writing of Sweatshop. This movie feels complete with a vast variety of characters with their own ideas and morals mixed in with one of the best slasher villains since Jason Voorhees. So the plot is that some goth teens decide to have a rave in an abandoned warehouse and they want it to be the biggest show there is and everyone all over is invited for some sex, drug and rave but as you suspect the warehouse is not actually abandoned since our killer only credited as, as the beast resides there and he doesn't really seem to enjoy this idea at all and for that he starts to murder off the party planners one by one with a giant anvil as his hammer. There is something I always loved with this movie ever since I first saw it back in 2009 and it's how relentless it is. It doesn't need a great backstory for its killer but rather focuses on the kids that are there, what they do and their general motivations as soon as you realize that they are not on that good terms. Uh, but business being business and things needs to be done so the money comes in. and. The killer kind of acts a little bit like a parent stepping in in that sense. Yes, a very angry murderous parent that instead of breaking up the fight crushes you into a meaningless pulp you are in order to handle a feud. The movie never really bothers to excuse itself for its immense gore and it's mixed in with this drama around the characters and their fighting in order to get this party going. And frankly, I'm a little bit sad that this never became a franchise because if anything, this really deserved a couple of more movies. I really don't want to spoil anything in particular as always, but if you want a good, gory, messy and somewhat original slasher, Sweatshop is for you. Thank you everyone for watching that video. I really appreciate it and I hope you liked it. And if you did, hit the like button below or something like that and subscribe to my channel. Also, this movie is from 2009, so if you're gonna watch it, please buy it because I really like if the creators could get some bucks out of it this late as well. Uh, but this is pretty good. Maybe if it does make some money we get a blu-ray release of it and i would really appreciate that and you can follow me on twitter and instagram and curious cat and facebook i guess you can follow me everywhere and i'm gonna start activating my patreon a little bit more in the future here so look out for that as well to waste your money on me well I'll see you next time Welcome to the Horror Hotel, my name is Tartled and today we're gonna talk a little bit about the movie... Yeah, that... that didn't work. Sweatshop. <laughs>